Okay, so this is the um, uh, atrial intubation catheter. Uh, I'm just going to talk about um, how to use uh, this piece of equipment. So the atrial catheter is used for um, in intubating um, via an LMA using a fibre optic scope. Okay, so um, it's a 56 centimetre, 19 French gauge catheter. Um, so um, it fits nicely over a fibre optic scope um, allowing you to view um, the airway. Okay, um, I'm just going to open up the airway catheter and show you what's in it. Okay, manufactured by Cook Medical. So when you open up the airway catheter, what you find um, are two rapid fit connectors. Okay, these two connectors, one fits to a 50 millimeter adapter, which you can um, ventilate down and the second one is a lure lock um, for using a, uh, a jet ventilator. Okay? Um, it also comes with a swivel connector um, which allows you to oxygenate whilst you're performing the procedure. The entry catheter itself is um, 56 centimetres as I said, um, 19 French gauge, um, so it's um, the smallest tube that you can fit um, uh, over it is a size 7.0 internal diameter um, endotracheal tube. Okay, it has markings on the side every five centimetres. Okay, so to start the procedure, um, I'm going to insert the LMA um, as you would do normally into the patient's airway. So I'm going to pass the LMA in, um, inflate the cuff, and then we're going to insert um, or attach our swivel connector, which will allow us to carry on. Um, provide an oxygenation to the patient um, whilst we perform the procedure. Okay, so the atrial catheter has now been railroaded over the fibre optic scope. Okay, you can see at the end um, there is enough of the scope to allow manoeuvring it through the LMA into the airway. Okay, we've attached it uh, with some tape just to help secure the, uh, the scope. Um, so, now we're going to pass the atrial catheter through the airway. So it's going to pass through the LMA, uh, the patient um, can have oxygenation maintained and it's very helpful to have an assistant to hold on to the LMA which allows you to pass the entry catheter and the fibre optic scope into the patient's airway. Okay, so the entry catheter is now into 21 centimetres um, when you look at the markings down the side of the LMA. So now I'm going to remove the fibre optic scope, being careful not to dislodge the entry catheter. Uh, the next step now is important. So the um, LMA needs to be removed. Um, However, you need to maintain the position of the ancient catheter and not allow it to be dislodged. So to do this, you need to um, ideally have an assistant holding the ancient catheter um, and then bringing the LMA out and then holding on to the ancient catheter in the patient's mouth. Okay. This allows you to then remove the LMA. So uh, the next step then is to pass your endotracheal tube over the entry catheter. Okay. Again, having an assistant to hold onto the endotracheal tube just allows you to um, to fix fix the entry catheter in the airway. Now we would recommend using a laryngoscope just to help um, move the tongue out of the way and then allow the endotracheal tube to be passed into the airway. and then the atrial catheter can then be removed. The fibre optic scope can be used to check the position either when the atrial catheter is still in place um, or um, when the endotracheal tube has been inserted to check the position.